I've got a great barber website here and I want to present it in multi languages. Translate Press has a free plugin in WordPress that will allow you to do this in the easiest way ever you can imagine with front end editing. We're going to see how that works in this video. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good wherever you are. I am JP here at Websites for Beginners, and this is our Translate Multilingual Series set of videos looking at Polylang, Translate Press, WPML, Weglot. Also, if you have other great integrations work with WordPress that you like to use to translate your multilingual sites, please drop those names in the description below. I would like to go and check them out as well. Also, if you have websites that you have created and translated with Translate Press, we'd love to see that as well. You can drop those links also in the description below or go to the Websites for Beginners website at w4b.io. Contact me there. You know, not always do we want to share everything with the world. The Translate Press plugin comes in two flavors. The free one that is at 200,000 plus active installations. This surprises me because Polylang is at 700,000 and this is a much more functional plugin. You can check out the Polylang video to understand the differences between these two and why I prefer Translate Press above and beyond. Then you also have a pro version and we're not going to be dabbling with the pro version in this video, but the pro version mostly are going to give you those features like SEO, WooCommerce, there's a nice little breakdown. You have different ones, developer, business, personal, and then the free version. And most of what you want to do, you'll be able to do with the free version. The one that's going to trip you up maybe is if you want to have three languages. Translate Press limits you to two languages. Then also automatic translation, SEO pack and accounts, as well as browsing on user roles then those are the pro versions you want to go for. But WooCommerce support, all of those integrations, all of that done with in the free plugin. Let's skip it, you hop over to WordPress and this is the site that we're going to translate. This is a starter site from Bloxy theme, free version using Stackable. Nice, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Let's just close all of this. And the first thing, update WooCommerce database. The first thing we want to do after clicking on update WooCommerce database is to go and install that for us. Go to plugins, select add new. And from the WordPress and type translate press one word. 200,000 plus active installations, 850 reviews with four and a half stars and last updated three days ago. That last updated, very important because things are always a changing. We have to make sure that you update it. And this is a good sign. Activate. And Translate Press Multilingual appears as a plugin here under our plugins. To find the settings for it, we go to Settings and you will see there is that little red notice and select Translate Press. We start here. Default language is set to English United States because this is what my website English is set to at this moment. We start with all languages and the default is English and I'm going to add Afrikaans here. Let's choose a new language and I'm adding Afrikaans, select it and then also click on add and this will be the second language in which it will be translated. Select yes if you want to display languages in their native names, otherwise languages will be displayed in English. This is important where you have something like a Chinese Mandarin, where it will say in English Chinese Mandarin, but maybe you prefer that it displays the Chinese characters. You can leave that as is and then go to the language switcher. There's a shortcut and we'll be working with the menu item. Over here, you're going to choose how it will display. Do you want the full language names, English and Afrikaans, or short, EN versus AF, flags with full names, flags with short language, only flags, full language names, no HTML. Let's put it here on flags with full language names as a visual cue. Many times I will remove the flag, especially in South Africa here. If I make a website with different languages here, we all have the same flag. A flag in South Africa is not connected to a language. And then we have floating language selection, and that is the drop down. 
save changes to make sure we've locked that in. What you can do from this point is click here on translate site and that's going to start the translation for you. But let's just have a look at clearly what's going on here. First, go to pages and we'll see these are the pages that we've created. Quite a number of pages. Let's go to the front end and I want to translate this page into Afrikaans. To do that, and the easiest way in my opinion, is simply go to the page you want to translate, front end, and select here in the WordPress toolbar at the top, translate page. What you have here is a front end translation tool. Currently, it is set to the English translation. If you look here in the editor on the left, you will see it says English. To put it into Afrikaans, the language we want to target, from the drop down, I will select Afrikaans. But to your surprise, the page is going to look exactly the same as it did because it is the same. It's a mirror copy, but we haven't made any changes to the text yet. A number of ways you can go ahead translating it. The easiest is simply hover over the page and you will see that little pencil appears and then click on the pencil. And now you will see in the sidebar on the left, it says from English, so fresh and so clean to Afrikaans. So a fars in so skoon. To lock it in, you select next. See the shortcut? Control, Alt and right arrow. I will try that. Control, Alt, right. And it will tell me that I have unsaved. So you need to save it. And that is Control S. The moment you do that, you will see it will also update here on the page. It says so fars in so skoon. And then you can move to the next translation. Note that what happens on the page, the styling and the formatting of the original English text is maintained. It was in uppercase, it remains in uppercase. It was in orange, it remains in orange. The only thing that you can change in Translate Press is the text, the content. You cannot change the target destination's styling. This is a slight problem in many cases because sometimes in English, will have a word that's like four letters long. But once you go into Afrikaans, it's 16 letters long. And if you made the font size too big for that word in English, in Afrikaans, it will break the line. And that's where you have to go and design, develop style very carefully when you know that you're going to have two languages and do it with Translate Press. Let's go to the next one. Select the pencil again, Real Cuts by Real Professionals. And we type in Kray Johara Knip Tier Die Beste. And the problem I have here is that it doesn't translate directly from English. I really have to think how to do this in Afrikaans. Control S to lock it in. And you will see it does go to a third line, which is fine. We can live with it. But I have no way if I wanted to keep it to two lines to reduce the font size. That's the most important thing you have to keep in mind when you're working with Translate Press. On the right, you also have the option just to move to the next option, and that is Control Alt to the right. We've done that previously, and that will take us to the next one, which is Lorem Ipsum. And you can see here that the Lorem Ipsum appears here in this paragraph. I'll type there Lorum Ipsum Afrikaans and Control Command S to save that and it will update. Here we have a button. Can we translate this text? Why, yes. Click on the pencil, book appointment, bespreek vandag, sessie, and I am purposely typing more so we can see how the button will stretch. Control Command S. Nicely done. Let's scroll down and have a look at a few others that we may want to translate just to see how it works. Let's go here to 30% discount. Click on the pencil and then we type in 30% afslag. Ooh, my spelling. And control S. Nicely done. And let's just go and have a look at how this currently will look on the front end. I'll click here on the X to close the editor.
And this takes me to the Afrikaans translation. How do I know that? Look here in the address bar at the top. I have my website address and then the slug with the forward slash AF forward slash for Afrikaans tells me I'm in the Afrikaans version. This brings us to the question, how can I switch between the English and Afrikaans versions? And that's where we have to go to the menu and add that language switcher. Let's go back to WordPress. Menus under appearance. And you will see the language switcher appears here from the menu items we can select. And we have current language, opposite language, Afrikaans or English. I'll drop in both of Afrikaans and English and let's see what we can do with these items. Select Afrikaans and English and save. I'll leave this open. So I'll go to the translate press site, control command click to open a new front end version in a new browser. And now you see we have here Afrikaans and we have English. It opens in English if I click on Afrikaans. No mess, no fuss, and we get an Afrikaans version. That was pretty easy. Let's go back to the language switcher. And what I will do is remove these two. And we put in opposite language. Add to menu. Save. Go to the front and let's refresh this page. Currently it's in Afrikaans. And what we expect is to see only the English option. Because Translate Press Free only gives you the option to work with, you got it, two languages, you'll only have opposite languages. Draw your attention to the floating bar in the bottom right hand corner. And this is the floating bar that we had seen. You can also switch the language from here. English and Afrikaans. Let's go ahead and click on English. The little floater at the bottom will tell us that it's set to English at this moment and you can select to go back to Afrikaans. This we can disable in the back end. Let's go do that. We go to settings, translate press, and then language switcher, floating language selection. I don't want that, so I clear that. Save changes. While we are here, you have the option for automatic translation, which you can add on. Enable automatic translation and you can select yes. Let's do yes. We'll use Google Translate for which you will have to add your API key or deep L if you want to do that, which is a pro add on if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Go back to no. And then the add ons are the pro versions that you will have to buy and get them and activate them. If you have a pro version, this is where you will add the license. Under advanced, you have the option here at the bottom to even add a custom language name if you want to set it up in a way that you feel more comfortable with. Let's have a look at how you create a drop down selector for the language switcher. Go again to appearance, menus, and I'll bring in under the language switcher current language, add to menu, and then I'll take the opposite language below current language and drag it as a sub item so it's a drop down. Save, go to the front end, let's reload. And now you will see the current language displays at the top, Afrikaans, and the drop down is English. A few more features within the translator editor. So let's go to another page. Let's select about this time and then click on translate page. We haven't translated anything on this page yet. So what you can do is click here on next and you will see it starts with image in this case for the logo mobile. And here you have the option to add alternative images. If your image had English text in it and you want to upload an image with Afrikaans text, this is where you will do it. If you don't make any changes here, it will keep the original image. If I click next, it goes to home. So we are actually now translating the menu at the top. So let's do that, but I will call this Taste Blood. 
and then I'll put in brackets home so you know where we are and then click on next and we have to save it control s command s and what we are displaying on the right is currently the English so if we want to see the Afrikaans select the Afrikaans and we should see that our header has updated to show taste blood let's go to next one and we say next so logo we had home then we had services dienste control s then control alt right to go to the next one and let's just go back so i can put next to dienste services for you to see otherwise it may get a little bit confusing and i'm a big shortcut key user so when i do this i'll just learn those shortcut keys very well control s to save every time control alt command alt and right arrow key very grateful for that it was a feature i requested long ago because previously we had to manually click next each and every time on products producta i think this one you can figure out products let's do that control s move to the next one control command alt and right arrow and this is how you go through even your header update everything scroll down to the bottom let's go have a look at our footer same thing here very easy so if i click here on information click on informasi control s and then go through all of these links that have been created here let's do this one phone and we can say contact number and i'm just typing some the numbers should actually be the same number and control s you will see as i hovered over this one that said phone there's a little green dot with the arrow that points upwards that says translate entire block element so this area of the widget will be considered an entire block element let's click on that so you can see that everything appears phone and then a break space for the email if you are not familiar with this kind of coding little bit of coding you know then rather keep one each one single by itself a last one here is if you want to select specific strings to translate you go to the top and you select from select string to translate and you will see all of them are listed here for you to translate excellent can't miss it out you can learn more from the translate press team there's a quick intro hover any text on the page click the pencil icon then modify the translation in the sidebar we did that don't forget to save translation use keyboard shortcut control command s switch language to set the translation changes directly on the page right so this selector will show you what is displayed here on this side and then search for any text in this page in the drop down so if you know there is some english text that you want to translate into afrikaans you can just search for it and it will find it in the available strings let's close the quick intro by clicking here again exit the translator and of course i didn't translate the entire website not for this demo i'm not going to do it and currently we are in the afrikaans one and because of these long 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 titles for our links it's pushed me into a drop down menu if i select another page now for example news now remember we haven't translated anything for the news page yet but you will see because we have already updated the translations for the header as well as the footer those new translations will automatically appear on these pages where it's set to global appearances this is absolutely awesome if you combine this with bloxy where you have conditional headers conditional pop-ups just imagine that's really excellent and you create a bilingual website in no time absolutely just the only caveat which i mentioned to you before is that you do not have control over separate styling like font size font color when you are working with translate press it's purely a string translator text translator one thing i want to tell the guys at translate press good work is that if you go to their website and you go to the docs and support you're going to get everything you need to set up the page this is a very intuitive tool to use
the first time I used this tool, I immediately got it and I was just amazed by how quickly I set it up, how quickly I did the translation and it just worked. There were no bugs in there. It was just awesome. If I compare it to Polylang, which is free and doesn't give me the duplication of pages, not a front end editor, it really is a little bit tricky to figure out how to set up Polylang and what can it do and what it cannot do. And then if I compare it to WPML, which is a monster, it's a hammer on the highway. It really takes some time to learn WPML, to know exactly what it can do, the differences in how you want to work with it in terms of Gutenberg versus a page builder. But once you master WPML, no problem with that. I highly recommend Translate Press. If you don't need to make styling changes, if the two languages are very close in structure, I mean, in terms of length and size, then you're going to be extremely happy with Translate Press. And then in those events where you need to go for multi languages and you want to do a few more things like SEO pack, which is highly recommended, then you go for the pro versions. Let's have a quick look at the costing. For one site here, it's going to run you 90 euros. For business, 160. And then the developer, which gives you unlimited websites at 215. These are annual subscriptions, no lifetime deals. But check out, you know, around all the holiday seasons, Halloween, Christmas, Black Friday, probably a special going on here and there. Let us know what you think of Translate Press. Have you used it? Is it good for you? Like to hear what you think. From me, JP, go well and stay safe and see you in the next video.